Welcome to the Joy of Music. Today we bring you a special presentation from the Melk Monastery in Melk, Austria. This monument of faith overlooks the beautiful Danube and the tiny village of Melk below. Two towers reaching heavenward and a mighty dome proclaim far and wide that this truly is a mighty fortress of God. The design of the Melk Monastery is masterful, both inside and out. Regardless of the vantage point from which one looks at the abbey, the lines are simple, clear, and even. The gold ornamentation and the artwork found on the inside of the monastery also points heavenward to Christ as Lord and Savior of mankind.
The start of the Convent of Milk goes back to the year 1014, but the present abbey in all its sparkling beauty dates from the 1700s. It is truly a masterpiece of Austrian Baroque architecture. Used as a stopping place for traveling royalty, even Napoleon stayed here. But most importantly, this is not just a dead and silent museum. The Milk Abbey is very much alive through a school, caring for 29 parishes, and meeting thousands of tourists each day. The love of Jesus Christ is reflected in every activity and every person that takes a part in this monastery.
The large organ of the Melk Monastery, over 200 years old, was created by the Viennese organ builder Gottfried Sonholz. It harmonizes magnificently with the overall architecture of the church. In 1970, however, a purely mechanical organ was built in the Melk Monastery with three manuals and 45 registers. The organ numbers among the most important in Austria.
The tiny village and monastery of Melk stands not far from Vienna. We are atop the hill where one may see many miles in the distance, the beautiful Danube, the Wachau Valley, which is one of the most beautiful parts of Austria, and also the village below. We are reminded of God's creation and His gifts to us. In Psalm 19, we read, The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth His handiwork. For over 900 years, the monks of the Melk Monastery have prayed continuously that in all things God would be glorified and that the gospel of Jesus Christ would reach out into the whole world. We pray that you have been blessed and enriched by the music today as we have come to you from the Melk Monastery in Melk, Austria. Thank you so much for joining us. And we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music.